Bale may stay, Griezmann could be blocked, Spurs may have ambitious Dybala swoop, Klopp has his say on Liverpool's transfer dealings, and a transfer roundup is all coming up in the next few minutes, as I'm your host, Matt Froelich, you are the one footballers, and this is the Daily News. First off, and to Gareth Bale's situation at Real Madrid, which could look a little bit worse for him because of Marco Asensio's injury. The Spanish playmaker ruptured his ACL, meaning he could miss the majority of next season, meaning the Real Madrid are one player light in their squad. So either Gareth Bale is going to stay, or it could be Danny Ceballos. Despite this though, he has been assured that his loan move to Arsenal will be going ahead, so it looks like Zindin Zidane is going to need an extra player. Of course, Zidane doesn't really like Bale, and Bale doesn't all look too happy, but when push comes to shove, I'm sure it's much easier to keep a world-class player in Bale than it is to get rid of him and then bring in someone new who's going to want to play, and then they're left in the whole situation that Ceballos is in at the moment. Of course, Bale is much more of an attacker and Asensio may be more a midfielder, but you can see how he may want more numbers in the squad. But moving on and to a transfer which has already gone through but may not actually go through. Sounds confusing, that's because it is. La Liga president Javier Tebas has said that Antoine Griezmann's move to Barcelona may be blocked despite the fact he's already officially moved and he's already played a friendly game for his new club. It's been said that La Liga may restrict the handing over of his official player pass because Atletico Madrid have made a complaint about the amount of money that was paid to them. So officially on July the 1st, Antoine Griezmann's release clause was lowered from 200 million to 120 million euros. But the club are now saying that the deal was struck up before this date, so they are owed the extra 80 million. When all is said and done, I still think Atletico will come out of this looking like fools. It's like they've thrown all their toys out the pram because their biggest striker wants to leave and has gone to one of their main rivals. Now, of course, there is a massive difference in price in 80 million euros, but who's to say whether or not the actual deal was struck? If Barcelona tried to get the deal done too early, Atletico Madrid are going to complain that their player was being tapped up. And if they get it done too late, well, they're saying it was done a bit earlier and they want more money. It seems like there's just no pleasing some people. So from one transfer to another, and this, even from coming from a Spurs fan, is unbelievably ambitious. Reports last night said the Spurs are making a swoop for Paolo Dybala from Juventus. Now, the club are willing to listen to offers as Cristiano Ronaldo is, of course, the main man at the club. And apparently for 80 million, the 25-year-old can leave. Now, Spurs and Richard Pochettino especially have been big admirers of Paolo Dybala. He mentioned that before they lost to Juventus a few years ago in the Champions League, that Dybala was amongst one of the world's best and he'd love to have him in the club. Of course, this will be a very difficult operation because of the amount of money that Spurs will have to spend. They've already smashed their transfer record this summer with bringing in Tangi Undombele from Lyon. So to go and do it again for another 20 million on top of what they spent for Undombele, well, it's not something you necessarily associate with Tottenham. Daniel Levy is still in talks with the Real Betis over the signing of Giovanni Lo Celso, but if they also want to bring in Dybala, it looks like they'll have to prioritise him over the signing of Lo Celso. And moving on to some Liverpool news next, and Jurgen Klopp has had his say on the club's transfer dealings. Basically, there's not going to be too many. They've already signed young Dutch defender Sepp van der Verg from Pek Zwolle, but apart from that, it looks like not much business will be done. Nathaniel Klein has injured himself, it looks like he could be out for six months, but it still won't affect Jurgen Klopp's transfer plans. He also went on to mention that after his team drew two all against Sport in Lisbon that Bruno Fernandes is a fantastic player and it'd be a real shame if he ends up at Manchester United. The attacking midfielder has been linked all summer with a whole host of clubs but it looks like United are in the front seat. They're said to be discussing with the bosses at the moment a potential move but as for the midfielder himself he said that he doesn't quite know where but that he does want to play in the Premier League. And lastly but not least we'll come to a roundup of all the day's transfer news where Patrick Cotrona said he won't be leaving AC Milan for Wolves who haven't bid enough money for the start and he doesn't really want to leave his hometown club. Chris Palace are willing to sell Wilfred Zaha and the surprise candidates for his signature are now Everton. Alongside this, Watford's Dodi Luka Bacchio could be moving to head to Berlin in a £20 million deal and Nicolas Pepe could also be moving to Manchester United alongside Bruno Fernandes if they can stump up the money by selling Romelu Lukaku. So what do you think about that outrageous Spurs bid for Paolo Dybala? Personally, I can't really see it happening. And do you think Real Madrid will go out and sign somebody else with Marco Asensio likely out for the whole season? Of course, let me know your thoughts on this and all of the rest of today's daily news in the comments section down below. Whilst you're at it, you can also smash the like button and click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I will see you guys later.